61 News at 10 starts now. Now at 10, Frito-Lay employees robbed at gunpoint in South Windsor tonight. Police are now on the hunt for the suspect. Plus, many residents still picking up the pieces and mopping up the water after this weekend's cold spell. How you can prevent this from happening to you. And a moment frozen in time, the ceremony to honor those killed in the clean energy explosion and a flag to remember it. The Fox 61 News at 10 starts right now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Carmen Chow. We begin on the weather watch tonight. A huge difference in today's temperature compared to what we saw two days ago, and it looks like the warmth is here to stay this week. Let's toss it over to meteorologist Ryan Breton. And by the way, Ryan, happy <laughs> National Weather Person Day. Thank you very much, Carmen. I always say there's a holiday for everything. <laughs> Apparently we get one too, and I'm glad that today's weather a lot better than yesterday's. What a temperature change, a 60 degree swing from yesterday morning to this afternoon and the Hartford area. Just crazy stuff. And tonight we're about 20 degrees warmer than we were at this time last night. Temperatures in most of the state still above freezing, though we have dipped below in Meriden, New Haven, and Willimantic right now. A couple of clouds out there tonight. There's actually a storm that's trying to form to the south. Uh, the moisture from this will miss, but we will get some clouds out of it tonight into the day tomorrow. So temperatures tonight not dropping a whole lot more from here. Lows will be right around 30 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have a mix of clouds and sun Sunshine. It will be a mild day, though, with temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. A little bit of a gusty breeze in the afternoon, though, which may gust to around 25 miles per hour. I'll be back to talk about all the warmth we have in sight this week coming up. Carmen. All right, Ryan, thank you. And while the extreme cold is now letting up, the impacts of that weather continue to put a strain on homes and other buildings across the state. Fox 61's DeAndrea Turner joins us live in West Hartford, where she talked with one woman who was impacted. DeAndrea? Well, Carmen, like you guys said, the weather is completely different than it was yesterday and the day before that, but people are still picking up the pieces of losing heat and also busted water pipes. And I talked to one woman who lives in West Hartford about how all of this happened to her. I'm hopeful it's going to last, you know, at least through the end of this year. A feeling of optimism after Kylene Thompson spent 48 hours without heat or running water after bitter winter temperatures caused them to malfunction and break down. And my pipes froze. Uh, first, it was my bathroom pipes. She says trying to mitigate those issues led to more. People were like, call a plumber or just wait for it to thaw or get your heat turned up. So I started messing around with my heat, trying to get it up to like 70, 75, and it would not go up. And then it just um, kind of stopped working. The systems just struggle in that weather. And, you know, they're running nonstop for 24 hours or however long the temperatures stay like that. And you do get mishaps. Scott Glanz with Top Tier Fuel LLC responded to Thompson and many more customers. The oil, the oil deliveries are going through the roof. Um, it's been nonstop. The service calls have been pretty much nonstop for the last 48 hours. Not only can cold snaps like this cause heat to go out, but also pipes to burst. City Steam Brewery in Hartford was closed today because of this, and the Northeast District Department of Health will be closed for the same reason tomorrow. Below zero temperatures caused struggles all around. I was actually getting water uh, from a neighbor, bringing it over to my toilet, putting it in the toilet to flush my toilet. This is my first home that I've owned on my own, and so he was kind of teaching me, and it was really nice of him. And I'm just hoping I can get the funds together to get this new system, and, you know, then I don't have to worry ever again about <laughs> the heat. <laughs> just well, we're ending kind of on a good note here. She does have heat for now, but her system was from the 1970s. And Scott also tells me in order to mitigate these issues when weather alerts come out like this to make sure that you plan ahead if possible. For now here in West Hartford, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61 News. DeAndrea, thank you. In South Windsor, there was an armed robbery at the Frito-Lay Distribution Center. Police say members of the cleaning crew were forced to the ground at gunpoint. The suspect then took their personal jewelry and cash. There were no injuries reported and the suspect fled the scene. South Windsor police are still investigating. 
Local leaders and the Connecticut AFL-CIO Health and Safety Committee came together in Middletown this morning to remember the deadly explosion at the clean energy plant. This is all to remember the six workers who died and the dozens who were injured 13 years ago. This year, first responders presented the American flag that flew in front of the plant at the time of the explosion. The flag now serves as the Connecticut workers memorial flag to not only honor the six men, but all workers who have lost their lives on the job.